take it back, take it back. That was cheap. That's cheap. It's very tightly timed. Very tightly timed. Here we go. Seconds per... Have we even got a little timer here? Seconds per cycle. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Um, this talk is about how we talk about artists as workers. Work is a slippery term, and when the work is the art, it becomes slipperier still, because how can we separate the work of art from the work of life? Here are nine contradictory analyses of what the work of art is. One, laborer. The artist is a worker. They work in art factories, also known as theatres, studios, galleries. They produce art for the bosses of the art factories, which the bosses then sell for a profit. Artists deserve to be paid a wage for their labor as soon as they begin working as artists. The bosses and workers are inevitably in conflict. The former wants to drive productivity up and wages down, while the latter wants to drive wages up and productivity down if we can manage it. This condition will persist until the capitalist system is overthrown by the workers' revolution and artists, along with all other workers, will be paid a living wage for their contribution to society. Two entrepreneur. The artist is a self-organized business. They produce artworks, but they also develop their brand, negotiate their contracts, and promote their work and their wares to other businesses. The successful artist is one who is able to negotiate the best price for their work. This can occur through skillful self-management, through cleverly playing the art production market by being an early adopter of lucrative trends or the creator of those trends, and through producing better quality artworks. Artists are in constant competition with each other, competing for the same contracts. Because it is a competition, some artists will inevitably lose. Three, bard. The artist is the soul and memory of a society. In hierarchical societies, they will be engaged by a patron to produce artworks which commemorate great moments in the society's history, or which uh, generally enhance the reputation of the patron. Alternatively, they may be a holy fool, a vessel of contradiction and disruption. In more egalitarian societies or in peasant groups within a hierarchical society, an artist may be supported by the whole community. Farmers might feed a bard in return for entertainment. The better the artworks, the more likely they are to be supported. The artist may also have a shamanistic role with the creation of artworks connecting community values for hobbyists. The artist is an amateur. They produce artworks in their spare time. Most people are artists of some form. Some artists are lucky enough to be able to sell or trade their artwork, sometimes for quite high prices. This may be because the artworks they produce are particularly good or that the entire, or that, uh, blah, 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 skip that bit. In any case, art is a kind of gray economy and producing it does not consist of work proper. Sometimes groups of artists within a community uh, will get together to produce large scale artworks like the community drama production of Lost. Sometimes artists who enjoy their work will get a proper job as entertainment. Uh, commodity. The artist is a good to be traded on the open market. Their value consists in their reputation, their portfolio, their rarity, and their ability to produce future goods. Producers, artistic directors, talent scouts, and other business people compete with each other to identify and purchase the best artists. Sometimes, business people invest in their artists through training and professional development opportunities in order to increase their value as a commodity on the assumption that they will get preferential treatment when purchasing the artist in the future. The artist is in charge of to whom they are sold, but in reality, this is usually dictated by the whims of the market. Six, self-facilitating media node. The artist is a conduit for ideas. Their role in society is not just to find out what's happening and to tell other people about it, it's to be what's happening. The artist does this through my, uh, making artworks, but also through expertly using social media, old media, networking events, parties, housemates, partners, and so on. Maybe all of these things are artworks too. Maybe everything they do is art. The artist is both a producer and a consumer of art. Their artistic practice is being really good at producing and consuming. They get paid any way they can. Seven, social worker. The artist must diagnose the moral failures of society and when necessary apply appropriate decisions. Their role is to help society do what it cannot do for itself. To help the people be better 
better people and to take action when the people fail. In this role, the artist is supported by the bureaucratic state and will maintain the state's moral code. Their ideal position is to secure long-term work within a funded institution, but increasingly they are precarious workers, self-produced, their labor on short-term contracts with no security. Eight, revolutionary. If the artist seeks independence or experiences economic or ideological alienation, they may become the social worker's shadow self, the revolutionary, who diagnoses the moral failures of society but seeks to overturn society's moral code. All art must be revolutionary to support their work. They may seek crowdsourced public donations or patronage, or they may be precarious workers, or in rare cases, they may be able to compromise with the state and seek employment in public institutions. Sometimes social workers can become revolutionaries, and sometimes revolutionaries can become social workers. They survive any way they can. Nine, scrounger. The artist is lazy. They do not want to do a fair day's work. The artist is cunning and cons people into giving them food or money for their artworks. They spend more time thinking about ways to trick people into liking their art than they do producing art. The artist is always looking for ways to produce, not to produce artworks, but to produce artworks that will trick people as quickly as they can. Their dream is to be able to do this without having to make any artworks at all. The artist does not believe in what they do. They get fed any way they can. So, no one artist is any one of these roles. We all move fluidly between them, and we're not the only workers with strange shifting roles under capitalism. Plumbers can also be social workers. Mechanics can be revolutionaries. Baristas can be bards. How we use different analyses of work and different times at different times shapes how we can destroy broken systems of labor. Thank you. Thank you.